how did this all come together on such short notice? And, and what does it mean to play for a little bit more than just a, a regular basketball game, but to play for somebody else? Well, um, Daniel uh, Josetti came down one day and said, that, you know, I just want to make you aware that the NCAA is allowing exhibition games if they get approved, uh, as long as they benefit the, the Red Cross. And, and, you know, obviously for us, service is such a big part of our program. Uh, it was a no-brainer. Uh, and to add to that is having such a young team to get them in front of a crowd against another Division One opponent uh, was, would be a great opportunity. And so uh, Milwaukee was one of the first teams that uh, came to mind. And uh, I've known Pat. He worked for one of my great friends, Chris Collins, at Northwestern, and called Pat. I said, hey, if we can get this approved, would you be interested? I think it'd be great for a great cause. I think it'd be great for, for my team because it's so young, for your team because you're new, and, uh, and the city because you know, they want to see Marquette and Milwaukee play. So I'm, I'm very thankful that uh, Dr. Lovell, Bill Scholl, and uh, the Milwaukee administration allowed us to do this. It was a great opportunity for our guys to get, get on the court in front of people. Well, you know, obviously two weeks into practice, we know we got a lot of work to do, um, but uh, that, that is to be expected. Um, I thought in the first half our offense was really, really hurt us. I thought our defense was pretty good, uh, but we were turning the ball over like crazy, and that's, uh, that's something that we can't do. Second half, we took care of the ball at a, at a much higher level. Uh, however, our defense wasn't as good. So it was a little bit the tale of, tale of two halves. But, you know, we, we did some, some good things. We had 21 assists on, on 20 made basket, 27 made baskets. We had over 20 offensive rebounds, which was a real positive. And there's some, some real things to learn and some things to build off of. Did Sam take a step forward today in your eyes? Yeah, I mean, Sam's a really good player, and we need him to continue to be aggressive. Uh, you know, he's, he is a real key guy for us. And last year, he, he kind of could play off others. This year, we need him to be real aggressive. How much has Sam transformed over the offseason? It seems like he's gotten a step quicker. He's got a little bit more pop. And you add to that what he's already been able to do for three for you. Wow, he's a really complete player. Yeah, Sam's a terrific player. Uh, tremendous basketball IQ. I think he's gotten stronger. I think he's uh, really worked on his ability to complement his perimeter shooting. Uh, with uh, getting the ball downhill and attacking the paint and, uh, and his post-up game. So, uh, we, you know, we need him to be a more well-rounded offensive player than he was given the opportunity to do, and I think you'll see him continue to do that. Speaking of well-rounded, you see the size that you have this year with some of these young guys, and it feels like a more complete team from top to bottom. Do you feel that way, and if so, how? Well, we certainly have more size, uh, you know, if just by adding Theo John to the, the roster, it's a lot more size. Um, you know, those guys are young, you know, Theo and Ike who will be eligible for the first, for the whole season. Those guys are, are really green, uh, but they do provide size and athleticism. I thought Theo having seven offensive rebounds uh, was terrific. Uh, and then when you get Harry back, I think we'll really be a lot bigger. Uh, so, um, yeah, our size has definitely changed. I think we have a little more length on the wings as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice. We just got to grow them up real quick. Coach, at the open practice on uh, Thursday, Stan Johnson was telling me that players tend to play differently when they're in front of people, especially younger players. Did you find that to be true both at the open practice and tonight? Yes. Um, you know, I, I, I thought our guys took a step forward tonight as compared to the open practice. Um, you know, with with guys in new roles and with a lot of uh, integrating a lot of new faces, a lot of times how they play when doors are closed can be different than how you play when, uh, you know, you got a, a stadium full. I thought our, our guys did a much better job of staying in character today. I thought the three freshmen um, who played a lot in Jamal and Greg and Theo for their first you know, quote unquote college game, uh, did some nice things that we can build off of and, and, and that was good. I thought in, our team offensively in the first half was out of character, uh, but we settled down after halftime. Do you want a scrimmage like this to happen again next season? Would you be in favor of doing more charity scrimmages if the NCAA allows it? Yeah, I mean, our, I mean, our, the, our program, we believe in, in serving others and uh, obviously it's part of our Marquette mission as well. I, w I would hope the NCAA strongly considers uh, this. I think it's it's a really good thing. Um, 
and you know you raised a lot of money for for a great cause and and you know and our, our sport can use some some positive pub really well coached i thought they ran some great actions in the half court i thought they really competed defensively you know pat's going to do a great job there uh he's had a great mentor and and chris collins um ran some really good offense and they really competed defensively so it was a great it was great for our guys to see and then what specifically i mean you mentioned vaguely about how first half wasn't quite as what you were turnovers expecting. they had 10 turnovers and a half um we can't do that i mean we need to be a team that is hovering out hovering around 10 for the game and uh, uh defensively we were pretty good uh, uh especially in the first half Second half, not not so much, but the, the problem in the first half was our offensive execution and on the turnovers. And you mentioned at media day about how Sam needs to step up as a leader. Um, did you see that today? Yes, um, and I think Sam has. I mean, Sam's one of those guys who's going to try to do what you ask him to do. Um, you know, for him to get a double double and uh, in a very efficient manner was 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 real good. Were you experimenting more with the combinations today, or did you feel like this is what we're going to see consistently? Well, you know, it's still it's still early, you know, and we didn't have Cheatham out there, um, who's been a good player and played a lot of minutes for us. You know, he'll add another dimension, um, you know, and then and then we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, you know, you add Haney, that's pretty much who we have for the first half of the season. Then you add Harry, and that'll be a, a new look. So, uh, you know, we're very much a work in progress and. Uh, to be honest with you, that's what I that's what I would expect. Uh, you know, two weeks into the season, uh, but we there's some good things that we have to build off of, and there's things some we have to correct.